Question is from Brandon LPZ. How powerful is self-talk for motivation or having someone yell at you before doing a big lift? <laughs> Do you practice it or should we just slap our faces, get angry and pick up the weight? This is a, you know, it's a, it's a, a powerlifting uh, mentality right here. It's an interesting question. Have you yeah. guys ever used uh, smelling salts? Yes. I have. What I do have. you guys think about it? They work. They're awesome. Dude, yeah. I get like hyper-focused. My central nervous system tends to respond a little bit more. It's the same kind of thing. If I have like that perfect song, you know, I already have pretty decent energy going into the lift, but now I have like that one song that I can get to that place where I just, I feel just, oh, like, like you get this like internal uh, extra gear somehow. It's true. I, you know, if I get, and this, this works well when I'm going to do um, a heavy, low rep set, like to get just amped or angry. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't work so well when I'm doing high rep sets because I'll gas myself out. Oh, yeah. I need something calmer to keep me kind of, you know, consistent. But it, 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 it does work. Now, studies show, I don't know if there's any studies on this particular, but studies show that music makes a big difference. That when you're listening to a song that tends to make you feel uplifted, it actually reduces the perception of pain that you have. So if something normally hurts at a level 10, Listening to music that motivates you, inspires you, lowers it down to you know maybe an eight or a seven. It's not only that; it's your your brain is the main hub where everything starts. So if you're distracted about your day earlier that was going on, or the stress you got at work, or if your mind is in other places, uh, and doing things like getting slapped from your friend or listening to that song helps you stay present and in the mm -hmm. moment. There's got to be a ton of value just from that alone. So, how many times have you messed up an attempt of like a PR or like just just lifting something heavy because you're mentally distracted? Absolutely, about that's right? so almost I, every so many time. times. Some of my my best lifting for sure was during the time that I was into competing because my mind was so much into it, and I really think that that had a lot. Of course, consistency and volume and all the stuff that we've studied and researched and understand as far as being able to build muscle mattered. Yes. But I also think there was a ton of value in just I was so into it during that time that that's I went to bed thinking about my workout in the morning. I was at work and I was eating my meals, thinking about what I was going to be training in two or three hours. I was so excited to get there. I had my playlist already. I mean, I'm so focused on what I'm about to do. Some of the best lifts came out of that. And even if I was well-rested, well-fed and all these other things, but if I was mentally distracted somewhere else, it's really tough to call upon everything I need, especially to do a big lift like a squat or a deadlift. You know, I look at it, it's, it's very similar to when, when I played sports and I had a very, very intentional, very specific ritual that I would do every time before like a big game or like something where I knew that like, uh, you know, my performance was on the line. Like it was like, it was going to be really demanding. And I, I would make sure like nobody could talk to me. I was just like completely just by myself and just, just thinking, thinking, thinking and being quiet. And that really helped me get out there to get to a relaxed state where I was like, I was just there. It was all banked in mentally to where I didn't have to then keep re repeating and relaying it in my head. So that's a really good point. And it actually reminds me of something that I answered to somebody who asked about um, the way I walked up to my deadlift. And I do this thing where I raise my arms. And, you know, when you have a movement like a deadlift or a squat or a head press, there's so much that's being communicated through your entire body that there's all these little cues. And it's, it's taken me practice and practice and practice to remember all those cues and having a a routine of what the way you walk up to the mm -hmm. bar yep. helps me kind of set all that the whole lifting the arms thing is to remind myself to activate my lats before i go in there it's like it's just it's now become this routine so i don't have to like yeah, it's go, like you're pushing all the levers to get you into that zone yes so yeah. I, you know if there's if uh, <laughs> you know some people might need to get slapped i guess to do that and if that's yeah. part of your routine before you go do a big lift i mean i've seen it help some of these like power lifters and right. they get a little excessive with it sometimes but no it, your, your mind plays most of the role in how much power you can generate how strong you are it's funny, you know, um, if you're going to do something, at least I figured this out for me, if I'm going to do something that is causing me already to be hyped and maybe a little anxious, then hyping myself further is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. So like if I'm going to go and do a speech in front of 500 people and I'm hyped about it and I'm excited and I'm a little bit nervous about it, hyping myself further 
gives me too much stimula too much stimulus, too much stimulation, mm. and it actually reduces my performance. Now, before I lift, I have zero nervousness. I've lifted weights a trillion times, so smack me around, give me some caffeine, and you know I'm gonna grab the bar and, and yeah. perform my best. But for other things. It seems like the opposite would be true, the, the, where you'd want to actually be more of a calm, yes. in a calm zone. You don't necessarily want to go in there super hyped. Martial arts, martial artists, so martial arts focus on the opposite. It's funny because lifters do the whole smack your face, get pissed off type of thing. Mm -hmm. Martial artists practice the opposite. They practice calm and chi and, and go in there. Wouldn't and, you think that, that that has to do more with like CNS, right? Oh, I you're, you're going to fight. You're going to go fight someone. Right. You don't need to go in there all, ah, because that'll burn you the fuck out. Right. Because you're if you've ever done a competition, it, well, well, so like before judo tournament or jujitsu tournament, I'm nervous one week before. So if I hype myself up, I'm exhausted. You know what I mean? Right. I got to wor work on calming myself down. Anyway, this reminds me of a story, actually. I, I, I totally forgot this. Yeah, I had, I had a client years ago that was uh, training for a marathon, and it was a marathon to raise money for uh, cancer research. She had lost her sister, so it's a very important thing for her. She definitely wasn't somebody that should have. Was, she wasn't a runner. She was deconditioned. Had you know hired me to train her. We'd only been working out for about six months. She wasn't a runner. Sister, you know, gets cancer, or whatever, passes away, and she's like, "I want to do this run. It really means a lot to me." So I helped her as much as I could, and a marathon is a long run. Well, anyway, her husband made a playlist for her and put her favorite music on there, and he did such a good job. And as she's listening to it, and this brings chills uh, as I'm talking about it, on the playlist towards the back half of the run when she got down to like, you know, you know, like there was only four miles left or whatever when it's like the most difficult, the, in between the songs was her kid's telling her, mommy, you can do this. Oh you're so God. strong. Mommy, you're my hero. I love you. And then another one from her husband, another one from her mom and whatever. And she actually got faster at the end toward wow. like the last four. Wow. How crazy is that? Right. Yeah, it gives you the chills. Yeah. It does. yeah. Wow. 